water. Okay. Hey everybody, Josh here, and I got an idea for the automatic sprouter. Um, pretty easy design and won't really cost you a whole lot of money. Uh, you could probably build it for, I'd say, if you go the cheap route, you could probably do it for 30 bucks. So, um, you're going to start off with a tub, kind of like a storage tub, 18 gallons. You get a big box storage for about five, six bucks. And that's going to be your water reservoir. And you're going to build a frame that goes up and it's going to hold storage tubs. These are the, the shoebox tubs that I've been getting. Uh, all the stores I've been going to, these are right around a dollar. So, um, and you could probably get two of these to hang over an 18 gallon tub. So you're going to build your frame to where it can hold two of these in a layer. And you're going to go up how many layers you think you need to go. And then you're going to get a, a water pump. Now I got mine at Lowe's about four years ago. And it's about a 140 gallon pump. 140 gallon per hour pump. And it costs... I think 35 to 40 dollars right now is about to go in price. They've actually gone up in price by about 10 bucks over the last couple of years. Um, Harbor Freight has them. Of course, Harbor Freight has cheaper stuff. Um, but I mean, you could get a pump for like $10, $15. If you don't have a Harbor Freight in the area, go to their website. You can probably order one, have it shipped to you. And it still be half the cost of the one at Lowe's or Home Depot. You're going to want to have the water pump on a timer. And have it set to go off for maybe 15 minutes every day. Or 15 minutes every 12 hours. Or whatever you think works best for you. You're going to have to have some PVC or some kind of a plastic hosing. You don't want clear. You want a colored hosing. So water or Sunlight doesn't get in there and grow a bunch of algae and you're going to run it to the top and the water's going to run out and it's going to go by gravity all the way down. Now here's the thing that you're going to have to do at the top. You're going to have to put a whole bunch of holes in your plumbing and you're going to have that plumbing run at least three quarters of the length of the box. So, you know, the plumbing is going to run over the top of this and it's going to run over most of the length of this. And you're going to have ho holes drilled in on each side of that pipe. So, basic, and you're basically going to be doing it like this. Where you got it teed off, and it's going to be running out to each of your boxes. And that's going to give you a pretty even flow to where all of your seeds are going to get watered. The water is going to naturally just flow down from one box to the next box and back into the reservoir. And from there, you could put in, you know, uh, compost tea or something like that into your reservoir. Uh, make sure it's nothing really chunky because you don't want to clog up your pump. And you just continuously run that. Um, another idea to really uh, make the water even better and to think about uh, things like mosquitoes and stuff. Uh, put some goldfish in your reservoir and you just go out there and feed them and uh, they'll sit there and they'll poop in the water and stuff like that and that whole process will bring in um, a natural fertilizer and the seeds as they sprout they're going to be soaking up the uh, the, um, the fish waste and cleaning up the water that goes back down to the fish. Um, it's kind of an idea for aquaponics. I don't know how well it will work with, a, with this type of a setup because you usually use rocks or something else as a grow medium and that attracts bacteria that's going to do the whole um, the process to making the super rich plant food. But it's something to try, I guess. So... There you go, that's 
my thought on it and uh, I'll probably try to build one this summer. Uh, I got plenty of things on my plate so we'll see when it actually comes to fruition if I can say that word. Anyways, till later, this is Josh.